that was too enthusiastic. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm finally back in, oh, am I saying where I live now? No, I will not disclose where I live yet. <clears throat> I'm back home um, from the holidays and oh, it's so bittersweet. Does anyone ever feel sad when they leave their family after seeing them after such a long time? Um, I don't know, the past 10 days I've just been like surrounded by family. I was never alone for even like an hour. Um, even at night when I slept, I shared a room with my sister. And now I'm back where I live and I'm alone. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, it's just life. So I'm back to the daily grind. Um, I have work today. It's Monday. So last week when I got back, uh, I only had work from... Well, January 1st was, was this statutory holiday, so I didn't work on the 1st, which was a Wednesday, so I didn't get back to work until Thursday. Why am I stuttering? Um, but I haven't picked up the camera in a while, but um, so I only had to work two days after I got back from the break uh, last week, which was really nice, and then had a really nice relaxing weekend. I told myself that I wasn't going to go anywhere, so I just literally just stayed home all day. Um, for both Saturday and Sunday, which was really nice. I was going to get back to the gym. I know I said that 2020 was going to be when I get fit again, but um, I'm just, I'm tired. Like, you know when you vacation too hard and then you need, like, a vacation for your vacation or from your vacation? Like, that's how I'm feeling right now. Um, but yeah, but uh, my cousin got me to buy... A game called Stardew Valley. I'm sure some of you have played it. It's just so fun and it's so addicting. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's a farming game. And it sounds really boring. It's like, oh, why would you want to farm virtually? But farming games are actually really popular and I've been playing it so much this weekend. Like, it's just so um, relaxing, but like, time goes by so fast. So, like, if you need a game, to kill time with get stardew valley it's just it's really relaxing it's really fun um i know i have it on pc but i know you can get it on mobile as well um i've never played it on mobile i thought about getting that before but um yeah it's only like uh i got it during the i don't know if it's a christmas sale or boxing day sale on steam but it was only like around 10 bucks so i mean might as well right so I'm thinking of doing a favorites video next. Um, I'm not a big like consumer, like I don't buy a lot of stuff, but there are some products that I actually really, really like and I just wanna share to the world the things that I have found that actually really, really um, have worked well for me in terms of um, not just makeup. I know a lot of people do like makeup favorites videos, but um, just like stuff, like music, um, books, shows, makeup, and cat products, like, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just getting ready for work, like I said earlier. Um, I just wanted to show you this one product that I found a few months ago that I haven't told anyone about yet. I mean, it's a pretty normal product, like, it's nothing crazy, but I've been really, really enjoying it, and I figured out a way to use it in a way that actually makes it even better. Um, I tend to have really dry lips, like, it doesn't matter how much lip balm I use or how much water I drink I just have like they're not crusty but like the lines in my lips especially when I put on like any type of lip product like lipsticks or anything um the lines are really prominent like they show up a lot I, I know some other people like they don't have that problem but I do so I don't wear lipstick that often like and when I do I just kind of dab it on I don't actually like swipe it because when there's too much product like my lips just look bad <laughs> um so uh, I saw on YouTube somebody mentioned lip oils, and I was like, oh, what's that? Like, I've never heard of lip oils before. Um, but at NYX, we have, we, I don't work for NYX. <laughs> Duh. Uh, at NYX, I found this um, hashtag, this is everything lip oil. So I have this in the color Sheer Berry, and at first it kind of looks super purple, um, but when you put it on, it's actually very sheer. So I'll just show you how I do it because this is currently my favorite lip combo. Um, so I have this NYX uh, lip liner and I just line my lips lightly. So I've already lined the bottom one, so I'm just kind of filling it in a little bit, bringing the color up. Okay, 
So after I line my lips, I just use this lip oil. So it comes in just like a regular lip gloss applicator and then I just rub off the excess and then I just apply it. There. So next video, I think I'll do a favorites. Um, that would be really fun. I just really like talking about the things I really like. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna get to my car now because actually I'm kind of early. Hmm. The number one thing I hate about winter is having to wake up early to clean off your car. <sighs> but we're entering January now. Um, today is January 5th or 4th? Maybe it's 5th. Um, and winter is definitely here. Um, I don't know, I always think of like December being when the winter starts, but no. Where I live, it's January. <laughs> it's actually currently snowing right now, and uh, I'm leaving a little bit early because I know that when it snows, people drive a lot slower, which they should. <laughs> it's the smart thing to do, but I don't want to be late for work, so. Just letting my car warm up a little bit. And I'm gonna put on some tunes and rock out before going to work. Like, I always put on some uplifting music before I get to work because, like, currently, like, my job that I have right now, it's good, it pays pretty well, and, like, I have benefits, and it's just, it's a really good job on paper, um, but I'm just currently not loving it. But don't get me wrong, I am very grateful for this job. Like, this job came to me, um, when I was out of a job, I had recently gotten laid off um, three months ago and I got this job almost immediately and it ended up being a better paying job and I had good benefits with it and you know, it has a lot of perks, but I don't know, I'm just, my heart's just not into it and yeah, so in order to pump myself up for work, I listened to really upbeat music. Um, for a while it was uh, High Hopes by Panic at the Disco and I used to play that on repeat before going to work. Right now, however, I am listening to Hamilton. I know I'm kind of late on the bandwagon, like Hamilton has been out for years, but I just recently listened to the musical soundtrack and I'm like, wow, this is so good. Like I'm so impressed with just, first of all, how many tracks there are. Like the entire musical has so many songs. Like I'm just so impressed with that. Um, and it's so good like I it's like a mix of like hip-hop and like rap and it's just it's so amazing like I can't stop listening to it I've had it on repeat for like the past before I even left for Christmas like I was listening to it even before then so it's been like almost it's like two and a half weeks now that I've been listening to it non-stop and I just can't get enough of it and there's just like I said there's so many songs that I can just listen to it forever and not get bored <laughs> But the exciting thing is, I can get to work soon, but the big exciting thing is Hamilton's actually coming here to my town um, in May. So they're going to be in town for a month, like mid-May to mid-June, and tickets go on sale in February, which is next month. And legit, I have the on-sale date written and as an event on my Google Calendar so that when it happens, when, once they go on sale, like, I am on it. Like, I would throw money at them. Like, I can't wait to watch it. Oh my god, I'm actually so pumped. Like, I don't even care if I go alone. Like, if my friends can't be on it with me, like, buying the tickets, like, right now, as I'm on the website, like, I'm going without them. <laughs> like, I was just, I just really, really want to have really good seats. Like, I love musicals, and I just recently watched Waitress, um, and it was amazing. I just love the entire experience. I love musicals. But anyway, um, wow, I just got myself pumped up. I don't even have to listen to music. <laughs> But I'm gonna head to work now. Um, I'm meeting a couple of, of old uni friends after work. But yeah, talk to you guys later. So it's been a couple of days. Um, <clears throat> I've just had... Oh, I haven't had a rest, I feel like, ever since I came back. Um, since we just got back from the holidays, there's a lot of work to catch up on. Um, and a lot of people to see. So, you know, just trying to catch up with my friends after work and all that. So. It's been kind of busy and I'm really tired, but I've been getting into bed um, pretty late. But that's okay. It's actually, you know, there are worse problems to have. Um, last night I just, uh, I'm getting ready for work, by the way. I just thought, you know, let's just film this part um, and have a chat. But um, last night I met up with an old uni friend who just came back to Canada 
um, for the holidays and he currently works in Sweden which is pretty cool um, but I only see him like once a year because he doesn't come back that often only around this time of year but it was really nice we had a nice chat it's funny how how life works out you know like we were talking about how um, you think that by the time you're 25 like when you were younger you think oh you know I'll have my life figured out by 25 you know be married in a couple years after that, have kids, have a good job. Um, and I'm sure that's true for a lot of people, but at the same time, for a lot of other people, it's not true. <laughs> like I'm I'm turning 25 this year and <laughs> not that I don't like where I am, but I definitely don't feel like I have it all figured out, you know? Sorry, and I'm also talking a little bit quiet because I don't know if my roommate's still sleeping. It's funny, we also had a conversation about, um, cause I had another friend with me as well. It was two of us and then my old uni friend. But uh, she was talking about how um, she didn't really want kids. And then I was like, well, then don't have kids. Like it's your life, you can do whatever you want. Um, but then that got me thinking like, even though I said that, I don't think I 100% believe in it. If that makes sense. like think about it like would any of us really be working our jobs if we, if we didn't feel like we had to do it or we were obligated to do it like I don't think so so technically most people aren't just doing whatever they want like they're doing whatever they need to to survive but it's not really I don't think it's really like their choice you know like I don't know I was just thinking about it I was like thinking about like why am I doing the things that I'm doing right now in my life but in reality it's like I in a way, I'm choosing to live the life that I'm living right now. Like, I could do, like I said to my friend, I could do whatever I want, but I'm not. <laughs> Just some food for thought, you know? I think it's nice to do some self-reflection like that every once in a while because it kind of puts things into perspective. Okay. All right. Eyebrows are done. Next, I'm going to be using... This is suddenly turning into a get ready with me. <laughs> um, I'm using this uh, Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Redness Primer. So I don't usually wear foundation because I just hate the feeling of like a lot of product on my face. Like I like feeling clean. Um, but my face is getting pretty red throughout the day. Um, so I just use a green primer for those of you who don't know. Um, if you have redness you use the color green to counter that color so your face becomes more neutral so after I prime my face I hide the redness and darkness under my eyes now I'm using the Maybelline fit me concealer and I just put a little bit like literally just as much under my eye because like like I said, I don't like face makeup that much, but I do like when the color is a bit more even. And for some people, this is like nothing. And I agree, it's like nothing, but I find that if I put too much, it just looks unnatural. Like I, I kind of feel like even though I'm hiding redness like on purpose, having it, uh, having a little bit of the redness and darkness show through kind of makes it look more natural, just not as dark. I'm just reducing the darkness, but not completely getting rid of it. Um, cause I find that when I complete, when I put too much and I completely cover it up, it's not as natural looking. Like it looks really fake to me. Um, all right. So after that, I usually take my handy liquid eyeliner. Lately, I haven't been really enjoying the like full line look. So I've been actually just tight lining a little bit between my eyelashes because I find that it just like... It does make me look a little bit more awake, but it also doesn't look like I have a lot of makeup on. Like, I'm a very natural makeup look type of person, so. All right, it's time to do the rest of my face. So, like I said, lots of redness under my nose, so I have to conceal that or else, uh, you know, it just looks like, it just looks bad. <laughs> um, exciting thing, later today, after work, I'm meeting up with some friends for sushi. Which I'm really excited about. This is a, I have like a couple of different groups of friends that aren't necessarily like friends with each other. So um, for this particular group of friends, I haven't seen them since like 
a couple of weeks before the holidays so it would be nice to catch up with them plus it's sushi like i love sushi uh today is supposed to be minus 19 so that's exciting i'm gonna be wearing a big fluffy sweater to work um it really sucks that at my job right now like i'm not allowed to wear jeans <laughs> and like when i first started um or when i first got offered a job and they told me that we're not allowed to wear jeans i'm like oh my god i only have jeans <laughs> like that's all i wear um I have a few like long skirts that I got from Japan but like that's you know summer and spring clothes like I can't wear skirts right now um plus they're more like casual like long midi skirts is that what they're called and I don't know if that's even though they're not jeans I'm not really sure if that's office appropriate like the whole concept of like business casual for women is like <laughs> I don't know I've only been casual my whole life so I don't know what it's even considered business casual but I guess it doesn't really matter because like you can always dress up or dress down whatever you're wearing so i'll just have to get used to that Ta -da! all right i'm all dressed and ready to go to work uh i think i'll end the vlog here since i think it's gonna be too long the video so thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much and i'll catch you guys next time